Hello and welcome to SAP Business Network for Logistics Carrier Integration Tutorial Series. In this video, we will look into the configuration steps necessary to configure webhooks in SAP PNL. This activity is done in System Connections application in the Carrier Portal. What we will be discussing today is this bit of webhook configuration, which carriers will have to carry out in their tenant. So let's have a look. So a prerequisite to access System Connections application is for the user to be assigned to the admin user group. Typically, uh, the user who would have set up the carrier portal would be assigned to the admin uh, user group by default. So if it's a different user who is going to manage configuration in the carrier tenant, uh, then this user should be assigned to the admin user group. And this is done in the user management application. So here we can add a new user. and assign this user to the user group that ends with admin. So this name would differ for each carrier depending upon the tenant name, uh, but what you should be looking for is for the user group that ends with admin and then save. So if you wish to know more details about which user groups control which applications, this can be found in the application help, uh, in the help portal. So here we can see the system connections app is governed by the admin user group. So once the user uh, is able to access system connections application, the user would launch the application here and then click on manage details. So here we have two sections, one uh, communication details where we manage the webhook uh, URL and then the authentication details where we manage the authentication for that webhook. For the purpose of this video, I have pre-created a mock webhook and for which the URL is here. So I can go ahead and add the webhook here. So to add the webhook, you choose the HTTPS option. You name this webhook as, um, let's say, and then paste your base URL and then click on create. So this creates an entry here uh, for uh, in the communication details section. Click on add in the authentication details section. As we saw in the earlier video, there are three options we provide or support. One is basic authentication or through dot or API key. For now, I will choose uh, basic authentication Give that a name, give the username. And it's password. Click on create. So now we have our webhook and its authentication details in the system. We click back. We also see other options here like the configure inbound connections. So this configuration is to enable uh, uh, communication into BNL, which we can also enable it later. But uh, while you're configuring this, you can also switch this on, which uh, helps you make calls to BNL later. Now click on create. We choose the service name that you want to configure. So the service name has a number of options, uh, typically by scenario. So depending upon what's in scope, uh, let's say we're interested in freight order subcontracting. So we have a freight subcontracting all, and then we have freight subcontracting FTL and freight subcontracting LTL. So if you wish to receive uh, FTL uh, to a specific endpoint uh, and LTL to a specific endpoint, you can choose uh, very specific scenarios and also configure uh, specific URLs, uh, choose uh, the uh, communication details accordingly. 
but in our case we have a generic endpoint so in which case uh, you know we are happy to receive ftl and ltl to the same endpoint in which case uh, freight subcontracting all can be chosen so this provides uh, flexibility to carriers uh, to uh, define specific endpoints and configure it according to the scenario let's say you are uh, configuring it for freight orders subcontracting so we choose subcontracting all choose the operation name so here depending upon the scenario we have multiple uh, methods supported uh, we support post for the initial creation and then for updates we have put for cancellation post and for other notifications we have another post method so you will have to configure uh, for each of these operations separately. So for now, let's say we choose post freight order, choose the format API, and choose the communication details that we had just configured, and its authentication details. Click on activate and create. So this creates our first connection to receive freight orders uh, from the shipper. So we can also test or simulate the connection so you can click on this option and choose test service choose with default payload so this triggers a request to the webhook click ok so if i go to my mock webhook i can see that this has already triggered a default request so this can be used uh, for your development purposes so that you get examples uh, from the system Thank you.